Okay, hello everyone. I'm back. So now that school's almost out, um, I'm going to be having a lot more tutorials and looks for you guys. The look that I'm going to show you guys today is just a really nice natural makeup look and I'm using it today for my graduation pictures so it's really nice for that or just like if you want a more natural look while still you know having good skin and all that fun stuff. <clears throat> so let's jump right in. So the first thing I'm going to use today for like this glowy moisturized look, I already moisturized my face this morning so we have the Lay Fresh Effects Primer, you know the usual just squirt out a little bit and then just rub it all over your face. The next step we are going to do is to do concealer. Now to make this look more natural and less highlighted, I'm going to take the Tarte Shape Tape Concealer and put it on all the problem areas of the face. I'm in the shade Light Sand. But since this is a more natural look, we're not going to go too overboard with the highlighting. You know, just make it look a little natural, am I right? I'm just kidding, but once it blends out, everything will all be better. Okay, now that this is all blended out, you're probably like, oh my god, she looks crazy, she looks pale. Just wait, okay? Just wait for the final product. I promise you it'll look normal. Everything will be okay. The so next, I'm going to take my Benefit Sunbeam Concealer, or not concealer, highlighter, and just wipe that on the areas that I want to be highlighted and just everywhere because we do want this to be more natural and glowy today. And then I'm just going to take the same sponge but use like this part. I'm going to just blend that out. So now that that's done, now we can actually move on to foundation. So I'm using the L'Oreal Infallible Pro Matte. And you're probably thinking, Rachel, if you're trying to do like a glowy natural look, why are you using matte foundation? Well, the answer is because I'm very oily. So when I use matte foundation, and since I'm oily, it just makes me look like normal to glowy. Normal to dewy, not like... Like, if I use dewy foundation, that's just a mess. You just don't even want to. So, I'm in the shade 106 of this color. Of this color. Of this foundation. And I just like to slather a lot up on this hand. And then just dip the beauty blender in and start blending. And in summer, since I'm going to have a lot more free time, now that I'll be out of school, no, like, summer assignments or anything to do, I will be doing a lot more videos and a lot more content for you guys, so I hope you are excited and if you have any special requests that you want to see, just come um, comment them down below, comment them on my Instagram, just let me know because I want to create stuff that you guys want to watch. I don't want to just, I mean obviously I'm going to create stuff that I like too, that I would, that I want to create, but, you know, you know what I'm saying? You get it. I remember one time, I don't know how this happened, but, so I was going out with my friend and we were taking pictures and stuff for her save the date cards, and literally I was driving in the car, I pulled down my mirror, like the visor, to check my, um, Makeup, just, you know, make sure everything was in order, nothing was too cray. Literally, I was missing foundation, like, a whole pat right there. And it was just, it was rough. It's rough. Okay, I think it looks pretty good. This color's a little dark for me, but it's not the worst I've ever seen, so. So, now we're done with applying foundation and all, like, the cream. It's time to go in with powder. And so... I'm using the Cover FX Perfect Setting Powder in Light, and let me just say, I used the IT Cosmetics one for a while, but after the one that I was using spilled, as you saw in my last video, I needed a new one. 
and I saw everyone was talking about like the Cover Effects Perfect Setting Powder, and I was like, hmm, I love Cover Effects, and I love their skin products because they're so good for people with eczema like me. So I was like, I'll try it, and this powder is honestly like one of the best things ever. And then I'm just taking this fluffy brush that's meant to be used for blush, but I just use it for powder because it makes my powder look pretty gorgeous. And just swirling that all over the face to just set the rest of the foundation. We're going to move on to some bronzer, some blush, some highlight, you know, all the good stuff. And since I'm like not tan but not like white, I just like to use a mix between Hoola and Hoola Light. Because I'm going for like a, a nice like bronzy, not super contoured look. So I'm just taking my angled brush and just sweeping it along the hollows of my cheekbones. The hollows of my cheeks, not the hollows of my cheekbones, whatever. And then after the hollows of my cheeks are fairly bronzed, and then we're gonna go along the jaw just to, you know, give a little bit of dimension, a little bit of contour. Then I took just Hoola for my nose, just gonna swipe down the sides a little bit, just, you know, give it a little bit of like dimension, but not too much. And then along the hairline, just bronzed and ready to go. Okay, so now that that's done, I'm going to go ahead and put on some highlights. So for my birthday, I got the Jeffree Star Manny MUA Highlighter. And let me just say. So I'm going to take my little fluffy brush and just dip in there a little bit. We're going to go in. I'm trying not to ruin like the beautiful um, logo stamped on there. And then I'm just going to go in lightly at first and we can build it up later. Hmm, yeah, I think that's a good amount of highlight. So, you know, not too blinding, just, just enough. And I'll take some onto my chin, definitely some onto my upper lip. Down the nose, of course. And hit the tip. Hit the inner corners, even though I'm going to be brightening that even more with um, some eyeshadow. So now that we're highlighted, I'm going to take my angled brush, different angled brush, and I'm going to go ahead and dip into California and Dandelion, just mix the two, and kind of like go in and blend my highlight and my contour together. And just like give me some warmth to my cheeks, you know. Okay, so next we're going to go in with the eyebrows off of camera. And then I'll come back and show you um, how to do the eyes. Since I'm doing a more natural look today, I'm going to go in with my Urban Decay Naked Palette. And so I'm just going to go in with the shades Naked and buck and so we're just going to take those and go in on the lid and mix them together okay so I zoomed you in for the eyes just so you could better see what was going on so next we're going to take buck and just work that into the crease this little domed brush and then just run that on the perimeters of the shadow that you just applied just to soften it out. So I'm going to go back in with the Jeffree Star highlighter and then highlight the inner corners and the brow bone. So just really just you know, go in. Except on the brow bone, I just like to, I kept it a little bit more natural. What is this hair doing? Sometimes my brow hairs don't like to cooperate me, cooperate with me, cooperate with me, as you can see. I'm gonna take buck and blend it into the lower lash line, like the outer half, just for a little bit more dimension and smokiness. And for the lower lash, I'm gonna take sidecar from the same palette and then just 
It is more shimmery and just run it along the bottom just, you know, give a little bit of pizzazz. And then with the fluffy brush, with this like fluff, with a fluffy brush, I'm going to go in to Half Baked, which is the golden color. I'm just going to dust that on like the lid, lid, like the bottom middle part of the lid. Just, you know, give it something interesting. So then now that that's done, that's basically your eye look. I'm just going to go in with some eyeliner. Okay, that actually looks pretty good. Maybe I just need to do my eyeliner on camera all the time. So now I'm just going to go ahead and do my lashes off camera, and then we'll do the lips, and then we'll be done. Okay, but first, before we do the lashes, I like to do my setting spray before I do my eyelashes and my lipstick. Why? I don't know. I feel like my eyelashes always get messed up when I ever do. I put setting spray on them, so just set that face. Just... There we go. And this will just enhance the dewiness of this look. And now we are going to I'll add lashes off camera and then I'll come back and we'll reveal the final look. Okay, so I went ahead and popped on some eyelashes. I put on my Anastasia lipstick in strip. And then now I'm just gonna like touch up this little highlight here. Yes. And we are done with this look. I hope you guys liked it. It's a really easy look to recreate. It doesn't take a lot of stuff. And I think it's really natural and pretty. So that's it. Thank you guys for watching. Don't forget to subscribe and like this video if you want to see more from me. And yeah, that's it. Thank you for watching. And I'll see you guys in my next video.